This is our second patron pick winner and the movie is Sleeper. This is our second Woody Allen movie that we've done. The first one being um, Annie Hall. Annie Hall. It was Annie Hall. <laughs> I thought I was, I was confusing myself there. I was like, did I just make that name up? Annie Hall. Yeah. The winner of the patron pick was Wayne Kreika. If I have pronounced that wrong, I am very sorry. I don't mean to butcher anyone's names, but sometimes I just can't pronounce things. So there you go. If you want to be in with a chance of picking the movie that I watch next, then you have to be over on Patreon and in the top three tiers. Big fat play, big fat credits, or big fat shout out. You can be in either of them and then you'll automatically be in with a chance of picking the movie that I watch. Now the first one we did was in the name of the father and I cried. I don't think I'm going to cry in this one. I think it will be a happy, funny movie about people sleeping. Or a sleeper is what they use in, in railways, I think. <laughs> Railway lines have sleepers. Yeah, it'll be something. Actually, I just watched a horror movie, so I need I need the laughs. I need to be happy again so that I don't have nightmares tonight. So this might be the perfect movie for that. And let's find out. Let's see. If you like this video, then please give it a great big thumbs up. If you're planning to stay and you haven't already, then please subscribe. Also comment, uh, post notifications, check out Patreon member. And I think we'll just get started. Woody Allen, sleep. Is it sleepers or sleeper? I think it's sleeper. Sleeper and play. Oh, Diane Keaton's in this one as well. She was Annie, Annie Hall. I like this music. It's giving me old silent movie vibes. We'll have to move him if he comes up successfully. Otherwise, we should be prepared to dispose of him the usual way. Right. Right. A date on the castle. Oh, yes. The subject was frozen in 1973. He's been under for 200 years. What? 1973, 200 years. 19... Wait, <laughs> I can't count. 20... 2173? That was hard math. He has tinfoil on his feet. This is, this person's going to be Woody Allen. He's got tin foil everywhere. <laughs> Did you cook him? Admitted for cryogenic immersion by his cousin, and this is Joan Needlebaum. Needlebaum? Regaining consciousness isn't handled carefully. There could be damaging trauma. Remember, we're dealing with an involuntary subject who expects to be waking up in... Involuntary, so he didn't invent the time machine. Bet that was a good nap. Oh, that's why it's called Sleeper. He was the sleeper. You've got to get him ambulatory whether he's ready or not. Uh, careful. Careful. I don't think he looks ready to do anything. Like this. Up. Up. Yeah. Up. Then down. Me. Take up. Step. Take down. Step. That's... But hold on a second. If he's been frozen for 200 years, he's not going to forget how to walk because he's been frozen. <laughs> And being frozen for 200 years is not going to make you no, not remember what food is. <laughs> the throat said no. No, it's just Dr. Orbit, Dr. Monroe and myself. Dr. Monroe looks like he's on something. I think I can explain. Uh, you've heard of the Venus Project, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> You came through channels fully a week ago, don't you believe? Dr. Monroe, I'm Please leave us alone. This is the kind of part that I could play. So everyone take note and tell everyone this is what I want to do. I can do that, no problem. I don't like what houses are always looking like in the future. I like old, rustic wood houses. You mean there was no deep fat, no steak or cream pies or hot fudge? Those were thought to be unhealthy. Precisely the opposite of what we now know to be true. Oh, I wish cream pies. <laughs> and hey, she said steak. Steaks are healthy. See 
It is quite like a silent movie. Talks. I said I'd be up and on my feet in five days. He was off by 199 years. And 360 days. You must understand that everyone you knew in the past has been dead nearly 200 years. Uh-huh. But they all ate organic rice. Well, that was the problem. <laughs> you can't just live on rice. Reviving you as we did was in strict opposition to government policy. What we've done is highly illegal, Miles, and if we get caught, we'll be destroyed. Right. What do you mean destroyed? Your brain will be electronically simplified. My brain? It's my second favorite organ. What's your favorite? I don't want to know. <laughs> I can guess. He's ranting. We'd better tranquilize him. I knew it was too good to be true. I... He always rants. You know, I bought Polaroid at seven. It's probably up minions by now. Polaroid. <laughs> so he said. <laughs> well, hey, it does come back. People are using Polaroids now. We'd like any information you can give us on. Uh, this was Joseph Stalin. He was a communist. I was not too crazy about him. He had a, a bad mustache. A... <laughs> That's an epic mustache. With, um, yeah, English majors, college girls, you know, nymphomaniacs. And very well done. So, you know, it's a good job it's not me that they're asking because I'd be like, yeah, I don't know who any of these people are. I don't recognize any of them. Girls burning a brazier. You notice it's a very small fire. Um, <laughs> you know, they were they were rubberized. You had to blow them up and then you'd fasten it and you could you could spread ointment on them or anything else. You would know all about that. Would you tell me exactly what this is? The Joker likes those store and you take it to a party if you want to get big laughs and you put it down on the coffee table or something and you can destroy it using a batarang who knows it may have ended last saturday and we feel that when citizens in your society were guilty of a crime against the state they were forced to watch this <laughs> where it really makes sense. sense that's exactly what that was his voice is so monotone <laughs> that's exactly what it was <laughs> some more for mr monroe Robot! There's a robot! I have been programmed to respond to a complex series of domestic commands. That would be so cool, but I'd be so scared that the robots took over. Oh, who the hell is this guy again? I... What do you mean out of here? Where am I going? We're going to take it to the Western... He's in... We've all been computerized, catalogued, fingerprinted, photographed, voice printed. Uh... But you have no number. You can be used to penetrate. Yeah. But they could torture you for months. What could you tell them? Nothing. Only my name, rank, serial number, and your name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go to the Western District. Find the Ares Project. You can do it. Come that way, Miles. Good luck, Miles. That's, that's not, not quite a lot. I did have to think for a second. I was like, oh, that's genius. And then, wait, no, that's not genius. <laughs> My granddad used to do that when he was on a ladder. I used to dance on it and scare the crap out of everyone. Oh no! They're gonna have simple brains now. Does nobody know how to work anything in the future? Oh, I see. <laughs> You're gonna have to press more buttons. You're gonna have to do something. Goddamn cheap Japanese flying packs. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. You could, oh, you could, um, oh, could you, like, pretend to be a robot somehow? Steal their outfit and their face, but then that's leaving the robot, like, naked. With just wires and stuff. I don't know if that would work. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's that's what I was thinking. We still haven't located Alien. We'd like to check the back of your van. <laughs> that I knew that because that's what he looks like on the front of the uh, DVD. <laughs> I think. I think that's what his face is. See, now he's going to have to be someone's robot. Is this the best they could offer him? Oh, geez, I'd hope for something with at least decent features. Oh, well, I guess I'll bring you in next week and have your head removed. Have the head removed for what? What a headless robot for? Check the music channel and regulate the aromatron and make sure there's plenty of food for all the people. All right. Yeah, he's not going to be able to do any of that. 
Instant pudding. I don't like anything instant. Uh. Oh, well, at least there's pudding for everyone. No one's taking them on. Aww. I would love to speak to a robot. Oh, I didn't realise that was her. That's Diane Keaton. Oh no, it's still expanding. Let's go it's funny how everything in the future, everything's always white and very um, white <laughs> and clinical. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's affecting him anyway. I didn't think it would because he's got gloves on. <laughs> Robot's drugged. <laughs> but nobody's going to notice because they're all drugged too. <laughs> you just stay there and chill out. I think we should have had sex, but there weren't enough people. We'll use the orgasmatron. Oh, that's a good idea. Come on. There weren't enough people? How much people do you need? That's such a good time. Well, what the hell did that machine do, I want to know? After all, there's the orb, and there's the telescreen, and there's the orgasmatron. What more do they want? What more do they want? Freedom. They want freedom. A little boy caught a butterfly, for he had turned into a caterpillar. Bye. Right. Only one thing. Uh, they change from caterpillars. Yeah. Uh-huh. They do? Yes. They do? Yes. Damn it, I always get that wrong. Like, get Relax, relax. I just saw her butt. Oh, oh hey, look at his shoes. I love the shoes. Our leader wishes you all a pleasant good night. So who's the leader? Who's the leader? But we're gonna find out. We're gonna see him. Is there room in there for another head change? Yeah, sure. How are you gonna get out of this one? Oh Jesus. I would I would run really fast. Oh hello. He's doing Charlie Chaplin now. <laughs> Swing him really far, like really fast round and round like a hammer throw and then run. Blue cheese, oh god. You're not getting that with your moustache for a long time. I have healthy life drives and good goals. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I would never force myself sexually on a blind person. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what a blind person. Oh, uh, that's how this is going. For miles, nobody's gonna hear you, so scream. Ah! Go ahead, scream. Ah! Okay, that's annoying. Put the gag back in. And bring it down on your head so hard that a substance resembling guacamole is going to come out of your ears. Oh, uh, why guacamole? You think you have to give yourself up. They won't hurt you. They'll, they'll re restructure your brain. They'll hurt him. Look at me, I'm shaking. Gee, you know, you'd be great to take on a camping trip. <laughs> <laughs> you sit here, I'll go find us something. And don't try anything funny while I'm gone, because you know what you'll get. What? <laughs> guacamole or your ears? Uh, large and painful hickey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Take the banana. Oh no, take the whole thing. <laughs> this, this one's a lot funnier than Annie Hall. 
not gonna want celery. Take the banana. That's a big chicken. That is a big chicken. I wonder how much people that would feed. Way to go to be pecked to death. Yeah. I bet there's like a chicken army somewhere in this movie. <gasps> That's how it ends. The chicken army. Chicken army takes over. Kills everyone. Chickens are clever. I still can't believe the size of these vegetables. I'd hate to see what they use for fertilizer. It's the chickens. They use the chickens. Anything weird and futuristic, like with the, the body of a crab and the head of a social worker? <laughs> you just sit right down here, you little cutie. What the hell kind of sea is that? <laughs> this is actually how the world is going as well. I can hardly find it except a mess in that bedroom. Well, is that not your job to clean it? <laughs> yeah, but what is a Hydrovac suit? It's for space travel. Use it as a disguise. What's she doing? Why is she helping him and not helping him at the same time? Oh, okay, that's why. <laughs> oh my god, he's getting away. He's getting away quicker than he was with the propeller thing. <laughs> that suit looks like a, a set of testicles. <laughs> set of blue testicles. Swim for it! I can't swim! What do you mean you can't swim? I mean I can't swim! Well, just jump on his back. He can float. What a noise is your making, woman? Imagine just like chilling at the side of the river and then seeing that fly past you. It's a 200 year old Volkswagen. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. They really built these things, didn't they? <laughs> I've always hated them. They just look so stupid. It's a New York Times. Be careful. From 1990. Pope's wife gives birth to twins. <laughs> the university at a population center cosmetic sexual technique and poetry cosmetic se sexual technique can they teach you sexual technique in school you have to know it in case something goes wrong with the machine so they don't have normal sex that's perfect and they don't they masturbate the they just water, use a machine never find it. i can't i honestly i can't get over his hair like what is his hair do you believe in god do i believe in god i think you've got the handbrake on theological existential atheist I never understand what you're saying. Because he talks a lot and fast and says fancy words. I believe that, that there's somebody out there who watches over us. Unfortunately, it's the government. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. God spelled backwards is dog. <laughs> yeah, so? Makes you think. Not really. Yeah. You want to push the car, please? <laughs> you got the handbrake on. Cut your hair. Do something with it, please. Oh, oh, what? What happened there? That wasn't. That wasn't the same. What? <laughs> Do you want to perform sex with me? Uh, I, I don't think I'm up to a performance, but I'll rehearse with you if you like. <laughs> it's hard to believe that you haven't had sex for two hundred years. 204 if you count my marriage. <laughs> I think it was longer. I got a PhD in oral sex. Yeah, they make you take any Spanish with that? What? Well, I, I don't know. I, I was an English major. Spanish with the oral sex? What? You know, I, I, it's so cold. I, I need to be warmed up and send flowers, romance. Oh, you're such a girl. You know the other men impotent? <laughs> you know, except for the ones whose ancestors are Italian. Right, I knew there was something in that pasta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you actually know what to do. Go on, do the rest. You want to get in the machine now? No, do it normal. Do it manually. Don't be frigid with me. I, believe me, nobody ever is. I got the magic fingers. You're going to be, you know, I swear. I, I... He's so full of himself in every movie. In every movie I've only seen two. <laughs> But what about you? Don't worry about me, honey. I'm like a cat. I'll always wind up on my feet. <laughs> Famous last words. Oh, he's away in the sex machine. <laughs> what 
Well, was it good? <laughs> That's a warm up. It means you'll last longer when you do it with her. A society that will take care of your needs and desires more efficiently than any you might have thought possible. And it's going to take them, it's going to be like a simulation, like now. Miss California, Miss Hawaii, and Miss Montana. Which one are you? Miss Montana. If you could do anything for mankind, what would it be? Montana. He's Montana. First, we're going to give you Miss Personality and... How short are their dresses? That the winner is Miss Montana! Yay! Well done, Miss Montana. Aww. You have to do this. You have to kiss to everyone. I'm, I'm in a little bit of a rush here, if it's okay. Talk to me now. You know what your mistakes are costing us? Rob! Wait, what does he think he is now? Is he back to normal or no? Wow. Oh, maybe not. Wow. <laughs> this is terrible. I was just about to say that would be awesome, but maybe not. I'm surprised we don't have those machines already. You can have a computerized dog. Rags! Woof, woof, woof. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello, I'm Rags. Woof. Why do you make it look like that? The batteries all over the floor. <laughs> At least batteries don't stink. What is, what, why are people attracted to him? I don't get it. Don't yell, we're with the underground. Oh. That, well, that was the guy that was with her at the start. Eliminate the leader. I went to see the leader. I'm not even going to try and say that number. A lot of zeros. Who are you? Who am I? I'm Luna. Who? Luna! Don't you remember? No, because he's a different person now. He's just in a simulation. Oh, oh, they're all there. Hey, he was in the sex machine. He just had sex. It's time for that Sunday dinner at your parents' house in Brooklyn on K Avenue. How do you know this stuff? I have to get a divorce. She thinks I'm a pervert because I drank our waterbed. Because you drank the waterbed. <laughs> I would agree with her then. He's like a sleepwalker. We can't upset him or it could be fatal. All right. You read Street Car Name Desire. Just play along with him. He needs oh another God. injection. Oh God. Physical beauty is passing. A transitory possession. I only know what this is because of The Simpsons. I'm so uncultured. Uh, yeah. Why? Why, you're not the gentleman that I was expecting. You have to, you have to go, Stella, Stella. That's part of it. You were screaming out different names in your sleep. Oh, I was having sexual nightmares. Sexual nightmares? There's no such thing. <laughs> An old girlfriend of mine from the village was arrested for selling pornographic connected dots books. Pornographic connected dot books. Right. That would be a lot of numbers. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that you... Oh, she's just having sex with everyone. The rebel chieftain with the wall-to-wall -wall muscles on his chest. You mean Erno? Erno? Is his name Erno? I get jealous. Jealous? Are you kidding, honey? With a body like mine, you don't get jealous. Body like yours. Free love. I created a bohemian monster. Next thing you know, she want to have group sex with the robots. I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> At least you could tell the robots exactly what you want. <laughs> they would do as they were told. No, that's the dual control. I thought you said you had it. I do. I have it. I have it. She hasn't got it. You love her now? Oh, Miles. I don't know. Maybe there's no love in the future. Oh, that was deep. <laughs> that was a horrible thing to say. Perhaps you should have been doing the controls. Hey, I, uh got some the tape around. Yeah. yeah, for a minute I thought you didn't know how to work the machine. <laughs> None of you have ever met before for obvious reasons of security. But now, Aries Day is here. For obvious reasons of security? Well, that means there could be many imposters. When a bomb planted in his home by members of the underground exploded, naturally, it was kept quiet. But since then, we have virtually been a leaderless society. Oh. All that remained of him was this, is our leader's nose. Oh God, yeah, I see it now. I couldn't, I couldn't, I thought it was a toe. Our dream has been that by cloning, we would reduplicate the entire 
leader again. No way. Which will exterminate all dissident factions on signal from our reborn leader. Well, don't expect him to look the same. I bet he's going to be like a, a giant nose. We dress like doctors. We go into the operating room. You create a diversion and I'll steal a nose. Great. And it's all going to go to plan. All aware of your reputation and we look forward to a successful and rewarding cloning. Well, where's the real doctor? Now, did, did you want me to leave room for a mustache? Because there's a, there's a nice area in there which... Always leave room for a mustache. And that way, you know, you'll be completely dressed at the end of the operation. It's a first in cloning. Right. Good luck. There's been a current break in the life support system. What I think we should do. What's that you've got under your mask? Oh, he stole the nose. He's got the nose. He's got the nose under the his nose. nose. He's got the nose on his nose. Just squash it. It's just a nose. Don't come near us. Get out of here now. He's bluffing. He wouldn't shoot the nose. I think he would. I would. Clowns. I would have stood on it by now. It. <gasps> you you were about to shoot your hand. Yeah. See? See? It's gone. Oh god. <laughs> Solutions don't work. I told you that it doesn't matter who's up there. They're all terrible. It's true. It's all true. Me like that for. I think you really love me. Ah. This is what this is what this all about. I, and you love me. I know that. And I don't blame you, honey. But you just met each other. Between men and women don't last. That was proven by science. There's a chemical in our bodies that makes it so that we all get on each other's nerves sooner or later. That's that sooner or later. It's seven years. But if you go past the seven years, then you're good forever. And you don't believe in God, huh? Right. So then. What do you believe in? What do you believe in? Love. Sex and death. Sex and death. Two things that come once in my lifetime. But at least after death, you're not nauseous. Why are you nauseous after sex? You're not doing it right. <laughs> you shouldn't be nauseous after sex. <laughs> I really want to watch a Charlie Chaplin movie now. Well, that was just splendid. It was exactly what I needed to not have nightmares tonight. Wayne, you picked the perfect movie. It was very funny. It was very... How funny from the very beginning that I was like, oh, this has got silent movie vibes and it was the whole way through. Like, Charlie Chaplin would have been proud of this movie. <laughs> Does Woody Allen and Diane Keaton work together a lot or is it just these two? Because I really like them two together. They bounce off each other really well and the, she he makes she makes him funnier and he makes her funnier. And I, I just like that. I much, much, much preferred this one too. Um, and I keep going to see Annie Moon and I don't know why. Annie Hall, it was a lot sillier and I love the silliness. And it was just from start to finish, comical, absolute nonsense. We love the nonsense. And I loved how it kept referring back to stuff happening in the 70s. And yeah, I just, I really, really did enjoy it. A very, very enjoyable movie. I, his hair bugs me. And I know it shouldn't because <laughs> I try, I really, really do try hard to not let to not judge people on their looks. And I don't, I don't. But his hair does something to me. It makes me, I just want to cut it. I want to cut it and I want to style it and I want to make it not so, it's so f stuck to his head and then poof, and then it's out. Yeah, his hair bugs my happiness. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like trying so, because he talks so fast and he says words that I don't understand and he says things that I don't understand. Like he he references a lot of um, stuff that doesn't make any sense to me. And so I'm trying so hard to like pay attention to what he's saying and I'm just looking at his hair. <laughs> Wait, I know, it's, it's stupid, I know. Isn't it funny how, and I, I wish just once they would do a movie set in the future that wasn't so white and like, like a hospital, everything's like a hospital and it's so sterile and disgusting. I want some, I want a movie set in the future where it goes back in time. <laughs> 
I, that doesn't make any sense, but that's what I want. I want that. I want I want us to realize that we're going we're getting too far advanced, so we take a step back and we go, look, listen, this is not how we want it to go. It's not going in the right direction. The world is messed up. Let's just go backwards again and see how we get on going backwards. Let's do a movie like that. Or if there is no movie like that, then someone invent it. This was an easy watch background movie. It was 100% one of those movies that you can just have on in the background and you can like look over to it now and again and still be in stitches and, and know exactly what's going on without watching the whole movie and that you guys know how much i like that i like a background movie <laughs> it's it comes from start it's it's where i started with the monty python guys it's just every time i watch a movie that's anything like that then it just makes me feel makes me feel happy this movie has made me feel happy after feeling scared to go to bed tonight <laughs> Anyway, if you like this video, then please give it a great big thumbs up if you're planning to and you haven't already, then please subscribe. And if you want to be in with a chance of picking my next movie, and it, you know, it could happen because it's happened twice to two different people, you need to head over to Patreon. You need to be in the top three tiers, the big fat play, the big fat credits, and the big fat shout out, any of them, and then you're in with a chance. And it's picked at total, total random, so it could be anyone. And that's it, that's it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Mwah.